Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I'm Rick Will Baggins and this is the UK map series as we are following the Manchester Leeds Newcastle line I believe. Yes, it says it right down at the bottom. Manchester Leeds Newcastle line and we are now heading towards the Leeds train station. As you might have already seen, we have added a few detailing to this stretch adding a little bit of farms on the right and we've also expanded the forest on the left as well which we'll be working on on today's episode as we'll be bringing machines in to Leeds we've also got yep so that's the forest some cows on his right another farm on the right and way back on the left is a coal mining that you can't see due to these trees but yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the little detailing extra videos that I've been putting out. Um, obviously, in addition to these Friday episodes. As we're approaching Leeds, um, you can see on the right hand side, we've added a little bit of detailing on there. So yeah, we'll um, give you a little bit of an overview of, of what we've done so far and we'll get straight into the build. As you can see, we've already added a couple of detail into the factories and industries. Um, if we just pop on our, our little uh, icons, you can see we have our lead steel mill, um, which we'll be using Birmingham's iron ore mine, and we'll be using Leeds coal mine as well. As you can see, a little bit of detailing, hopefully. I uh, don't know how this is going to look, but hopefully it'll look quite nice when it's more... I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. Um, functionality. It'd be nice if these moved. Maybe maybe they move when a train comes. I doubt that. Doubt it very much. But yeah, we've we've added a bit of detailing. Um, we've added some extra detailing for the uh, Leeds oil well as well. I was hoping that we could see that on on the journey, but unfortunately these trees are covering it up. So we have our Newcastle Forest. We need to get Forest connected up to the sawmill and to the machines factory. And then what we also need to do um, is bring coal over to the steel mill, which we've already got the track in. Uh, but we need to add Birmingham iron ore mine. So let's get straight into that. Um, or should we start off first? Um, Maybe we start off with doing Lloyd Sawmill. So let's have a little look at where we can. Uh, it'd be better if we put it up here, wouldn't it? But that doesn't look like a, a great place for our train to connect to this Lloyd Sawmill. What we're going to do, we're going to delete this. Just delete it all. Get rid of it all. Right. So, this is the entry point, so we're going to have to put the train station around here. What we might do is expand it so then it looks like it's going through, uh, very similar to what we've done on the forest. So, buildings. That's where we're still in 1919, it's still early doors, so we'll go with an old UK, not a passenger line, we don't want that. So we're going to go with an ultimate station. Uh, we don't want no countries. Um, I believe we've done the rest of them 240 metres. So we'll keep with that length. Um, M and N, November Mike, to change them round. Oops. But don't forget, you can also hold shift and use your right, your left, sorry, your left mouse button. Um, to move it in small increments. I reckon that's about halfway. <clears throat> move it to about there, giving us enough room to put path. Ah, oh. oh, we'll want air with air. I think the rest of it will be fine with. Let's 
So that looks like it's in the middle. So Leeds Sawmill Station. I'll just put ST for now. I don't know if I've been writing ST for the rest of them or if I've been putting station. And that says Leeds Transfer, so that's wrong. Leeds Hall. Newcastle. Oh, we've been adding station on the end. What we might do is just add ST. Because these are going to be length of line. lengthy names of lies. There we go. And I'll put that Leeds Cargo Station because that's going to be used for Leeds. Right, let's get some rail down. Yeah, things are a bit slow because I've got a lot of mods on. I think I've got over 400 mods. It's ridiculous. I need to get rid of some of them to hopefully improve the performance a little bit. But I don't know the ones that I use and the ones that I don't use. Um, I went a bit mod at the start and just had lots. I've changed my mic position as well and I've just knocked it as I picked up my cup of tea. Apologies for that. But track, track is what we need. Just going to go with a standard track for now. You know what? I want these crossovers first. Don't want no country. You know what? I delete this. We're going to make another one a little bit lower down. And let's smooth. Well, that was a bit delayed, wasn't it? Ah, oh, looks all right. Right back to the track. We use the uh, comma and dot, you can go up and down. So I want to make sure that's level. Just to make it easier to uh, put a cross section in. Gonna lose a bit of speed coming around here, but can't do much about that. Right, let's uh Do we need it to crisscross here? I don't think we do. We are gonna put one in anyway, just in case. Well, I could flatten this out, or I could make a bridge, I think a bridge would be better. Yeah, we're not going to be able to flatten everything out, are we? No, we'll go for a default one for a change. Right, so let's uh, put these levels on it, might make things alive a little bit easier. I 
Right, so we've got... We don't need these. So we have Leeds Forest, or Newcastle Forest, to Leeds Sawmill. Um, and then I'll drop off planks at the Leeds Machinery. I need to set up a route for trucks, lorries, uh, road vehicles from the steel to the machines as well. But we need to get iron and coal into the steel factory first of all. So let's build something up here. Um, I'll be honest guys, I did find a, I, I found a, I'm working through the Steam Workshop, looking for more mods of course, and I found a mod called Move It. I've not added it on as of yet, but apparently you can pick these up and move them. Um, I like the fact that they're random generated, so I don't want to move them, you know, too far away, but just to make it a little bit neater maybe. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Um, trying to... Still play with the medium settings and the random generated industries and resources that are provided and spawned within the map. But I also want things to look pretty as well, so let me know what you think. But where do you reckon we should put the train station? It's only going to be one way. It doesn't need to go anywhere else because this takes two lots. <clears throat> Two lots of iron and two lots of coal. So technically it needs two iron or, uh, iron mines and two coal mines. But we are, are only going to feed one and hopefully it will produce enough. And when it doesn't, then we'll, well, we'll cross that bridge when it happens. We can now put a path to get vehicles down it either side. Um... And yeah, what we need to do, oh, maybe we should have done it a little bit further up this way. Perhaps we can fix that by just doing this. Um, not entries, we want tracks first of all. Standard track. And then we want cargo platforms, put a platform there, platform there. And then what we'll need to do is bulldoze this one, this, this, and this. Right, so that gives us a little bit more um, landscape to work with for our little curve. So it's going to reduce the speed, you see. Let's get rid of that. Let's get our standard track. Right, so that, that, that kind of works. Let's put some... Uh, I think these trains are a little bit big for uh, signals. Let's just work that out. Yeah, just a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit too big. Uh, we'll have to sort that out. Right, back to track making. Um, so from the iron and come up here. Why, why are you sat waiting? What are you waiting for? We need to put another platform on this side so that two can drop off and pick up. I believe. Yep. This is going to drop off the oil and then keep going. Is it? Going down here? Uh, 
Ah, uh, right. Yeah. It's because it was on its route. So, yeah, if I put one on this side, it should then stop there, and that could have just continued going. But I'm not going to get distracted. And we're going to do that after we've set this up. Uh, we might even do it off camera. Um, where was we taking this iron? Right, so we've come in here. That's it. I got a bit lost. Right, so it comes down here. And then needs to get to this train station. So... Come... This way. Right. Let's... Uh, Try and work out this. Um, how we're going to do this. Well, we'll figure it out. I think what we need to do is bring everything into this line. Um, so, yeah, that's what we'll do. Make it flat. Right, so this down here I get it as small as I can apparently that's too small so a B for bulldozer bit of that press number 2 foot rail again We can make that a little bit smaller. Alright, so that's the smallest, but the other one won't work. So if I go one more tab. Right, so that needs to be around there. Make that a double slip switch. Right, so all I need to do now is extend this rail bit. I reckon we can do this at a shorter, short distance, but... At the same level, right? So I can cross each way, and I can now get into each station, each platform. Or we'll do get a bit of uh, a bit of gravel, a bit of ballast. Right, so we can delete this track and then I want to start from this side. I didn't actually, I wanted to start from this side now. I was right the first time. And then what I need to do. these signals for now you know what let's just pause the game delete that signal Just drop down to 
40 or 39 miles an hour, but it looks all right. So I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna go with that. Now let's set up some signals. So this train's driving on the left. Come down this way. So if we put one there. Is it not done it? Is it going to take a little while? Maybe it's because I've got my place on. Let's just do individual ones. You need to remember to change them. So. We put it back there. We can go there. And now we have. Backing signals. And what I will do is put yes, 105 meters. And if I do one here, do it in line with that one. Excellent. So now I can press no. Put one opposite way. And then delete this one because we don't want it stopping here because it's going to block off the entire junction and we can't be having that. Right, so we've got a signal there. We need another signal at this side. And then, just before we get into the Leeds Cargo train, Leeds Cargo station, uh, we'll have them waiting there. I think, I think we've got the infrastructure set up, guys and girls. We just need to start putting lines in, adding trains and trucks, and get them machines into Leeds. Because, well, at the moment, it's not receiving any supplies. It's getting, obviously, uh, in some uh, growth via public transport and public transport just need to get some food machine and tools in so uh, as you can tell we've been working on machines so that's what we're going to get added is that a double slip switch i don't think that needs to be a double slip switch no it doesn't because we've got a crossover there right so let's get to our line manager um We'll start with the forest, that's what we started off on the episode, so Newcastle Forest to Leeds Sawmill and then Leeds Cargo Station, we'll make it brown, it's wood, why not, that makes sense doesn't it, right so no crossovers there, obviously no crossover at that point, and then it's going to use I reckon this one should use number number one. No, that's the wrong one. That's what I want to use number one at. So. It's going to be, let's let's name this, so, uh, Arthur Rail. How have we been using the uh, cargo drop, brick lane, brick lane, sorry, food supply, extra grain. So, if I put this down as leads, and it's wood planks, wood planks. Line or supply. Line will do for now. So, at Newcastle, he wants to pick up a full load. He then wants to drop that full load off of wood and pick up a full load of planks, then drops it off at the. So, yeah, you load wood, 
you unload wood and you load points. You don't load anything and you unload points. That's one line done. Let's get the iron and coal to the steel. Now, we have two options here. We could have one train going to the coal to the leads. Uh, what we're going to do is make that to be number six because it's going to get dropped off over that side. Um, I'll put it as orange. No, coal's black, but I'm not going to have one line. This is also then going to pick up, picks up the coal, drops it off. Then goes and picks up the iron, drops it off. Dropping off at the same station, number six. So this wants a full rod, drops it off, and a full rod. So you don't unload anything, and you pick up coal. You unload coal. You then pick up, well, let's just rename this. So that's Birmingham Iron Mine ST. So you can pick up iron and then drop this iron off. And there we are. This is the leads. It's a R for rail. And it's leads. Coal. Can we do an on symbol? Yeah, we can. Coal and iron. Supply. No line. Right, so. We are now producing. Oh, we will be once we've added the vehicles. We'll be getting planks into the leads machines factory. And we'll be getting coal and iron into the steel mill factory. What we now need to do is set up a vehicle route, bus route, bus route, truck route from Leeds Steel Mill to Leeds Machine Factory. Um, steel, maybe light blue. Let's turquoise, light blue. We've got a different blue. Yeah, why not? That looks alright. So Leeds Steel Mill, we want to pick up a full load of steel. I'm going to drop this off. And this is going to be a truck line, so T, truck, tarmac, whatever you want to call it. And this will be leads steel line uh, maybe supply because it's not getting yeah supply I will read go over my naming convention at some point and famous words we'll leave that till later right I don't believe we built a vehicle a vehicle depot. So let's build one of those buildings, depots. Uh, still only 1990. We'll just put it now. We've got them signal side. Let's do a little old school depot at the moment. And what we are going to do is just of there we go and maybe we don't need that
Right, we've got ourselves a little road depot. This is number two. Where's where's Luge Road Depot number one? But did we already build a Lloyd's Depot? A road depot, that is? Because we've got the things off, haven't we? We've got one there. We need another one there. We've got one here for now anyway. So, no point build it, getting the vehicles as of yet. What we want to do is... We need the steel, no, the iron and coal train first, I think. You know what we haven't done? Oh, in fact. We'll need to also set up a line delivering machines to leads. So let's just get a depot. Oh, I forgot about conveyor belts. We'll need to look at them. But we want a little truck unloading spot. All the cogs are over here. In fact, if I put that there in the middle, I think that's going to reach everyone. What we're going to do, we're going to pause, we've got lots of money. Um, let's just make these roads a bit bigger. And then of course, we want to bring this. to here and we're just wow we've uh, just got rid of 150 people oops sorry people i'm sure you'll move back he's going to pick it up from here um what i wanted to make sure is i reached everybody Right, so, last line that we need. You're gonna go forward. You're only gonna pick up tools. No, you're not, you're gonna pick up machines. And then you're gonna drop off there. I don't like the fact that it's crashing. But it, I could put it on the other side. But then it's going to get into fear with bus. We'll leave that for now. It should be fine. You're doing a full load and you're picking up machines. Yep, that's what we want. Uh, machines. Oh, it's white, isn't it? But... The white's not the greatest colour. That's even worse. Um, dark grey. Oh, that'll do. Right. So let's head. Well, let's just play. In fact, no. Let's pause it because I want. I want to. I watched the uh, ride the train from the old, sorry, the Liverpool depot. We've only got one depot. Um, sure, we should have more depots. Oh, neighbour branching out. But maybe we have a depot in this section, depot down south, and then maybe a depot up north. Um, but at the moment, we have one depot. That's where all these trains are built, and that's where this will be coming from. So let's go on to. Let's uh, let's pick this one. Why not? I know I'll pick one from one building and then maybe another from the other. We'll see. Um, right. 
Still not got any diesel or electric trains because we are in 1919. So steam is the way forward. The only way for us. Now what train should we pick? We want something with lots of power. Uh, we're not going to get up to 75 miles an hour anyway, I don't think. Um, so maybe we do use this one. It's a lot more expensive, but I think we've got the budget for it. So let's get a GWR 280. And that's the 2800 classes. So we'll buy one of them bad boys. And cargo. So let's have a look what we've got. We need coal and iron. That does let us use all. But how fast? Oh, 60 miles an hour. Maybe we use one of those. Otherwise, it's going to be. Maybe that gondola was 50 miles an hour. Yep, we're going to use one of these generic British goods wagons. Um, I reckon we go for a five plank. I don't know if that makes it so that we get more of it, but no, I don't think it does. We don't want a tank. We don't want a covered up. I want to see what's inside. So the early British freight wagons were privately owned and were often poor, poorly maintained, if at all, and often built to many different designs as the railway companies had a few rules over wagons, designs and specifications, but were required to be run by the railway companies. And this led to many delays and breakdowns due to faulty or poorly maintained parts. So let's just add as many as we can until we get out of that good section. Right, so mediocre, that's how well it's going to pull all these, uh, all these wagons. But good uh, means it'll get to the speed a lot quicker. Obviously, the, uh, the heavier it is, the slower this machine is going to be. So 202 meters, that should be good enough for us. 196 capacity. I think that should be fine to start off with. Let's call an iron train. And we'll call it train one because we probably will have more than one eventually. You know what we're going to do? Um, I'm going to break it up a little bit. I'm going to set this off on its journeys. We're going to watch it. And then we'll add the other line. Because this is going to take a little while for it to uh, get there. And also to start generating that steel. What I might need to do. Because the steel isn't going anywhere. It will eventually go. Wait a minute. I'm making all the steel and no one's buying it. Why am I making... What's the point in making the steel? No one's going to buy it. So we need to make sure that someone does buy it. And I've got a bit lost. <laughs> um, we're, we're over here. Right. So... Get a road depot. Let's buy a cargo truck. Get an open truck. Because that can do steel. We'll just buy one for now. Lead steel truck. Lead, lead steel truck one, and that can go on. Funny enough, lead truck one steel. Why? This is that one now. So before we buy the next train, let's have a little ride along on the new iron and coal. Colour 9, yeah we did call it Colour 9, Colour 9 train, that's the one, going for a free path, let's go.
think I might have to have words with this train conductor. So I'm breaking the speed limit. We're doing six miles per hour. It's a five miles per hour zone. I'll have to educate him on that. So the first time it's pulling into Leeds Cargo train station. I think this is the first uh, multiple platform station we have. Well, more than two platforms that is. And you know what, I think it looks rather nice with the uh, industry vibe it's got going on. You should just go straight through to pick up some coal. I'm just going to turn around and go get some iron first. Yep, yeah, it's going to the iron. Yeah, I'm quite quite happy with uh, how it looks on the little uh, cab view. speed this up until we get to the uh, to the iron I oh, can't see a thing can we yeah we need to detail this bit um, which we'll probably do as off camera as a little time lapse I don't know how you guys are enjoying them extra detail videos that I've been putting here and there um, along with these Friday episodes that will be coming out every Friday at 4 o'clock UK time. Um, keep me to that. I'm trying my best to uh, keep a schedule. I believe I'm two weeks in front. I'm trying to keep myself. Um, obviously work commitments and other such adult responsibilities. Doesn't always give me the time, but we're getting into a better routine making these videos for you guys especially with um, these transport fever videos you uh, seem to be enjoying them a lot more than the skywalk series don't worry you know a few guys are still wanting to check that out um, 
drop me a comment, obviously. I'll will bring it back at some point. Um just taking a little break. And and so all these transport fever videos coming out for you. Uh, let's get that sped up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is going on here? Have I have I made a boo-boo? I think I've made a boo-boo. For start. This is not connected. What I did think it was, I thought I'd just asked it to pick up coal at the iron and iron at the coal, but we'll uh, we'll double check that first. So coal mine. Picking up coal, just as it should be. Iron from the iron mine. So yeah, what we did forget is to add an entrance into this platform. And the entrance is gonna be here apparently because I I can't put it over there. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll get a not a street because that's going to be too big and even that one is. But if we use this one so that buildings don't get built on it, we can use that one. Maybe we'll use the six meter one. You know what? Let's just build it. We're flattening it out. Will that make any difference? Do you reckon? We're flattening that side out. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to delete this road, delete that road, and we're going to put it down again. That looks about straight, doesn't it? I think it does. And then what we'll do is we'll get our pencil and that brown. If you hold shift while painting, get rid of them horrible um, lines there. And we're back. Um, fortunately, I was recording and I ran out of disk space. Um, and I didn't notice. A couple of minutes went by. So yeah, we uh, we finished painting this. Uh, as we were mentioning earlier regarding the paintbrush tool, if you uh, wanted to get rid of them concrete marks here, um, we can do that by just holding shift while we're painting. As you can see, it gets rid of any, uh, any concrete bits that we don't want to see. Let's continue the journey with the iron coal train before we purchase the next train which will be getting the wood to the sawmill and the planks to the steel industry no to the machine factory so off we go from leeds cargo station making his way over to the leeds coal mine I've been thinking of bringing, bringing you guys some ride-alongs as well. I can see that quite a lot of other YouTubers have been bringing them out. So I might get one of them out and see how, how it goes, how you guys enjoy it. And I might bring out more as we progress throughout the episodes. As the series continues, I'm sure we'll get more and more detailing. Um, what I want to do is, for whatever reason, I'm getting some jerkiness. Let me just pause that. Right, we're back. Yeah, I still had Sony Vegas open, so it seemed it was uh, causing a bit of issues. So yeah, we're uh, coming into Leeds Coal Station. We're going on the wrong line. So let's let's fix that. Let's just uh, tell you to turn around. Go forward a little bit. It can use the other line. It has no reason why it can't. The only reason why I wanted to use that other line is because we've got these things set up. So it looks like it's going to load the train. Yeah, so this is what originally came. This is what I've added. Yeah, it's a bit... It's not the best. No, it's not the greatest. I'm not very happy with it. Uh, but what what do you guys think? What 
Do I need to remove anything? Do I need to add anything? Have you got any suggestions? Because as much as it looks all right, I feel like it could do with a, a bit of improvement. But it's managed this vehicle. No, managed the line. And it's uh, Leeds Coal Mine. We want you to go on to number two. There we go. You can see how it shifted over there. So now we get back onto the train. Back at the cab view. Let's play again. So as you're coming in, you'll get this nice little scenic view of Leeds Coal Mine. It looks like it's actually going into the mine now rather than just sitting on the outskirts of it. Um, and then we've got the train coming into the station. I'm sure it'll fit. I hope it'll fit. Under, well, it's 200 metres and it's 240 metre train station. Doesn't look like it fits. But yeah, look at that. It kind of looks like it's getting filled up. Now you're waiting for... You know what I need to do? I know I keep cutting you away from the immersive train ride. We need to put some... Uh, we need to put some... Signals in. Otherwise it's going to wait there until that's free. I don't want that. It's always going to come on... So we drive on the left. We we'll want... Maybe we'll have it here. We'll do yes. 240 metres. That looks like it's straight. So we'll go back to no off signalling. And delete this one because we don't want it working there. And now... We've got signal there so then if we put one up that side unfortunately it looks like this is more than 200 this section here is larger than 205 meters so when you get to a junction it the auto signaling stops Ooh, what's this we'll stick with these for now So they can stop there. What I do need to do is put signals at this side. So if I do auto signaling, what about, is that straight? That's straight, isn't it? And then what I can do on this side, even at that way, it should fill it back. Yes, it does, but it's not quite straight. So let's delete them, delete that one. You just manually put it down. Let's get back to his train. Going on the left, it's a good train. As we approach in Lloyd's cargo station from the other side. I am going to add a little bit more detail in here and there, like this, this, all that gap there, which needs you filling in. Um, there's, all much, there's only so much detailing I can do. Uh, the more I do it, obviously, the better I become, hopefully. So, yeah, our, our first call drop off. We'll watch this get dropped off and then we'll um, get our, our wood train. But let's just get his wood train going on now. Um, ooh, leads to man's tools. I think it needed tools before, didn't it? it just obviously, I deleted a lot of houses. Ooh, we're starting to get some skyscrapers. I think that's his first skyscraper in Leeds. 
I know we've got multiple vehicles in bad condition. We'll have to we'll have to sort that out. But yeah, it's first it's first skyscraper and what is it? The total shop. So yeah, Leeds. Um as we mentioned, we've moved a lot of residents out to expand the city uh, streets. As you can see, we've got our main junctions. I've left the little smaller streets in because we're not really, we're not going to be putting traffic up and down these, but the residents will when they need to live there. And if I do bus stops on the main street, that should be fine. See, so yeah, I get distracted very easy, I told you. Um, I now need to go. Oh, oh, look at this, it's delivering steel! But shall we check it out? Let's put it on. It was far. Ah. Look, skyscraper. I think that was pretty cool in the distance. So yeah, let's uh coming into Leeds Machine Factory Depot. Again, we might add a bit more detail and get some more boxes and stuff and maybe some people and <laughs> lonely ladder on the left and he stops here, drops his steel off Proper hugs the curb, doesn't it? Ooh, that wasn't a nice sight, was it? But yeah, comes into the lead steel factory. Looking pretty busy. I don't know where all the workers are, though. They must be on break. A guy sat over there, but... So what we've also done is we've got this little uh, cargo. I was hoping that it'd be animated, but it's it's not. Um, I did see something else, which might be different to this one. So we might give that one a go and see what that looks like. But yes, as I said, we were going to purchase our self a wood train not a wooden train but a train for wood up to liverpool liverpool train depot i'm gonna put it from this one and now we'll do it from this one so so we use the same train i don't think wood says heavy we'll go for a cheaper train Look how much cheaper that is. That's like a million pound cheaper each. A million pound cheaper and about 200 grand cheaper per year. You know what? I'm going to make a brown train. That brown or that brown? I'll go with a darker brown. Not that it makes much difference what colour it is. Cargo. So uh, that can use wood 50 miles an hour. At 60 miles, 31. So we've got an option of using the flat car with side sticks. 50 miles an hour, two times loading speed, and it's 10 ton. Or we can go with the British wagons that we was using previously for the coal. We could. No, we can't use them. Generic, that's the one that we need. You know what, we'll do uh, uh, one times loading speed. Capacity of seven. You know what, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go with these ones for now. It's two times loading speed. I know it's ten miles per hour slower, but it's quick. it's not it's not a long route, so it 
Are we not going to get up to them speeds? And I want to mix it up a little bit. Yep, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to go with the flat uh, with side stakes. Let's get some of them added. Yeah. Two hundred and eleven meters, one hundred and thirty-six capacity. Um, let's perch. We need, we need more. We do need more. Right, two hundred and thirty-four meters. I believe our train stations are two hundred and four meters, so that should be enough. One hundred and fifty-two. Is not going to be the quickest train, but we should be fine with that. We've not assigned it a line. And this is going to be the Leeds blank line. Sometimes my camera angles don't work on certain trains, and I don't know why. Yeah, I wanted to get the side view. Maybe we stick with this view for a change. I am going to speed this bit up because, let's be honest, it's a bit slow in here. I think this path might be blocked. Oh, is he waiting for me? He's waiting for me, isn't he? Oh, look at front of us. We've got the iron train just ahead of us. We're going to have to stop, aren't we? Let's see how good we've set these signals up. We just approach Leeds cargo station. I'm quite happy with this. It's, it's looking, it's looking rather nice. As time goes on, as well, a lot of my assets are all modern, so we will be getting a lot more detail as time progresses. Um, there's a good 60% of the assets I can't use because it's just not within the time. Too modern for 1920, which I believe we're in now. I know we started the episode in 1919, so I'm sure a year's gone by. Been a big project as this. And we're going to speed it up a little bit. I just want to view the... Uh, the wood... The forest and the planks. Obviously, we've not detailed the planks, but we've detailed the forest. Which is where we're heading now. Newcastle Forest. This is the sawmill, which we'll be dropping the logs off at. An elk off. Now oh, we need to put a bit of ballast in. But yeah, this is the Leeds uh, Leeds Forest. A lot of trees, as you would find in a forest. Whereas it's not much of a forest, is it?
And we're going to pause it. Because... Oh, no. No, it is, it is uh, connected. What are we waiting for? What's... Why are you not picking up? You load logs. You unload logs and you load... Oh, yeah, so what? what's your issue, Mr. Train? Mr. Wood Planks Train, why are you not picking up any wood? Why is that? You know what? That'll be why. Because we've not given it an entry for leads, so I'm ill. It's not going to deliver, pick up something that it can't deliver. So, entries. Wow, you need to be careful. I've just deleted a platform. Which is closer? I think this side. Right, so we want to build a load. That'll do. Oh, that don't look nice, does it? Let's just delete that. You know what? We're just going to paint it. That's not what we wanted. We wanted the paint tool. And what we'll do is we'll make that bigger. And you're like, oh, look, this is annoying. Look at this concrete. I don't want concrete. I wanted it to be, be dirt. Then hold shift and repaint. And it goes. As easy as that. And you can also do it over there as well. We didn't want that though. Oh, look at that. We're starting to collect some logs now. This is the reason why I like to, uh, to watch the train as it journeys for the first time. Because we always end up finding mistakes we have missed. Or oh, bits that we've missed. Mistakes that we've made. Let's get this on fast forward. Oh, it was on fast forward. I know this crane is the wrong way around, we need to uh, fix that. We'll come back and get a full load next time, I'm hoping. Uh, but let's follow the uh, the train back to the Leeds Cargo Station. And then I believe the last vehicle we'll need to buy will be getting trucks, getting machines, sorry, via truck to Leeds drop-off point. In fact, while well, we're waiting for that, let's just head back there itself. It's not making machines as of yet because we need some wood, wooden planks that is. We can do that. Is this one here, which we didn't even name it. So what was that? It's going to be a truck line. In. Dropping off some coal. So yeah, we've got the uh, the truck line, and then it's going to be Leeds machine. What we can spell machine. Machine supply.
Yep, so the line's set up correctly. All we need to do is purchase a vehicle. And we'll do that by buying it from the second Leeds vehicle depot. There's one's not enough apparently for Leeds. And this is machine, so that's not going to take it. We need to use the uh, carpen truck. Leeds machine truck one. Make it like a dark grey, like the wine. Weeds machine supply. We'll put that on fast forward. And what I want to do, look at that with uh, making money now. And my game has crashed. Lovely. Um, I won't redo all that again for you to view. Um, but yeah, um, I guess we're gonna end it here. Um, so yeah I've got no else to say other than don't forget to like and subscribe if you've not already done so and as always thanks for watching and happy gaming